Hi there. Do you know there is a difference between hearing the eternal voice of God and hearing the eternal word of God? Both are prophetic and both come from the source of the eternal God himself, but they have very different outworkings. We hear the voice of God when God says, this is my beloved son in whom I trust and am well pleased. Listen to him. But then we hear in the word of God where Jesus say, you don't understand because you can't hear this prophetic utterance, this eternal utterance from my word, which is spirit. They're very different things, and we are to hear both. I think for many, they don't struggle to hear the voice of God, but we can struggle to hear this prophetic eternal word, which is spoken from this realm that is already written by God. This is where I personally believe the macro prophecy of God comes from, these scriptures that are prophetic that 2 Peter talks about, that we are to know the prophetic scriptures of the eternal scriptures that are in the unseen realm and to bring them from the unseen into the seen realm. You know, this is the word that the disciples couldn't hear. This is the word that Jesus spoke when he would say, watch out for the leaven of the Pharisees, and they would think he was talking about bread. Even though on the Mount of Transfiguration, they heard the voice of God speak to them and they shuddered. You see, there's a difference between hearing the voice of God and hearing the eternal word of the Spirit, which is God, which builds us on the inside. One word is about doing, and the other word is about being and becoming. And so it's imperative that we hear the eternal prophetic word of the Spirit. Paul said, I speak in words of spirit and thoughts. And the man that's natural doesn't appraise these words or these thoughts because he appraises them through the flesh. I want to encourage us to not only hear the voice of God, the prophetic voice, but hear the prophetic word of God, the utterances of heaven that build us on the inside, conform the Christ within us so we have his eternal life being formed within us all. I pray this encourages you today.